Welcome back. Um, today's uh, review, uh, full review is of the uh, Finch Takuna knife. And I I carried it all week, so I have a lot to say about it. First of all, it comes in a nicely fitted box and you get like a flip in the Finch um, sticker and you get a band-aid which I have managed to cut myself with it anyway. and it comes with the, the Finch warranty it says every knife you buy from Finch is guaranteed satisfactory or your money back feel confident look sharp with a Finch always um, and uh, Finch is a company that they uh, they uh, are out of Stillwell, Stillwell, Kansas, and I, I believe um, they the knife design was in uh, the U.S. and but the knife was built in China, and I th I don't know what company built this. I want to say. It, it was a well-known company I, I I thought I read it I thought I read it on some website it was best tech knives that built this but I'm not sure so on the fit and finish um, the knife weighs 3.9 ounces um, the blade to handle ratio is like awesome it, it it's it's right there like within 98% of uh, the handle and it, the centering is perfect right out right from the factory right out of the box I didn't have to adjust it for anything I mean I wouldn't adjust it for the review I would adjust it later if it wasn't centered but otherwise it, it came centered perfectly out of the box and um, this action is is wonderful I mean, it, it's nothing wrong with the action. It's it's and it's considered a standard, like uh, it's also known as a straight back blade because it's straight back. And I, I it I, it reminds me of, of a, a machete though, but it's considered a straight back, and it features a flat grind. Um, and it's so fucking sharp. It's so fucking sharp. Um, uh, uh, for jimping, um, they there's jimping along uh, the top, and I think it's purely decorative. Um, but there's jimping along when you flip the blade out. There's jimping along the bottom, and it's it's good for like choking up on. So it's it's decorative, but it, it it's it's also very usable. And like on the flipper tab, this jimping is different too because it's very usable too. So I, I think the jimping on the flipper tab is very usable in open or closed. So um, the de detent I would classify it as a medium to high detent. You, I mean you sometimes you just don't really need to flick the hand but you can fail it on a rare occasion but it mostly flips out superb you know I really think it's a good flipper and it has just enough detent um, and it's it's drop shetty but I found out you can cut yourself if you I've clipped my nails and my nails don't extend past the fingertip anymore and I found out when it flips down you have to quickly move your finger or you'll get cut but it's drop shutty it, it or it, you just have to like maybe do it sideways you do, can't do it up and down with like I was and or you'll you'll cut yourself um the lockups uh, a liner lock and this this kind of scares me uh this liner lock is like 15 to 20 percent lockup and 
I'm used to like maybe a 40% lockup and I'll, I'll I'll probably try to adjust it. I think it needs to be more. It le needs to be at least 30%. It's 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 easy to disengage too because the lockups uh, it, it, the liner extends past the a little bit past the the G10 scales. So it's it's very you don't need to do a cutout when you can get easily get to the liner so um, uh, both sides are are branded I think they're very very nice and very tastefully tastefully branded so um, I mean I, I like on the black blade it's just it's it's just a simple finch I mean it's it's you don't even kind of notice it is kind of like a it's like almost like a like a tan in color and then in the back in small type it just says 154 cm and the name of the blade Takuna. it's very tasteful um it's 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 a nice font and stuff so i don't mind it uh and on the handle i love the this they did a company logo as an inlay um and it's a as a sapphire crystal it's like it's classy you know the pivot and uh with the 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 silver sh shroud whatever um it's nice and then uh, all the screws are like um uh are countersuck in the g10 and including the the clip there the screws are countersuck in there too I mean it's it's very nice um the um the clip is very nice it follows the uh, the curve of the handle and it's it feels good in hand yes. i'm gonna say it, it has a unique blade shape because i mean it reminds me of, of a like a machete but it's it's so unique i mean it's refreshing to like um see a knife that's not like the other knives not like a pointy pointed jabby knife you know um it's just really nice um the they there's no lanyard option but you know i don't mind the i i really love lanyards but if 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 there's no lanyard option i'm fine with that um though i i said i like the clip this way it's curves and the way that it's designed but i don't i don't like i i don't know what to describe them as as is like big ink ink pens or ink pen type endings i i really don't like those that that type of like engagement for the insert in your pocket that looks like a an ink pen um it's it's for me i, I use uh, i wear a I wear every day to work I wear BDUs or you know like BDU, BDU pants and um, I think BDU pants are a little bit different in jeans they're not as like hard along the seam in, as jeans and you have to sometimes work to get it in the pocket using this clip so I would much rather have a like a spoon spoon type of clip uh, the spoon type of ending on a clip uh something like this um i i've i've, I've call these a spoon clip if it, i mean you could it could be thin this thin but i would just want it to be this shape because it this is easy to get in the pocket even if it was thin it would be easy because it, the shape the the engagement on the uh, the handle is far the far back, but it's right there, and uh, it's it's just not good. So for fit and finish, I'm going to give it a five out of five. I, I really love this um, fit and finish on this knife. Um, um, now I'm going to cover the handle materials. Uh, it, it handle materials features a, a a G10. I think it comes in a blue, uh, a red, black, and maybe a ghost green. 
um, the it features like like I would consider like cutouts like grooves cut in the blade it's like a it's like a wrinkled material um, I, that's the only way I can describe it um, but uh, it's very it's it's a shaped handle and uh, it's it's very soft but it, it, it looks fabulous it, it looks nice but and it feels nice so uh, the line uh, again the liner lock is easy to disengage because it if you can see that it's it, it's just slightly above the G10 scales so you can easily dis disengage it I'm kind of scared I don't want to cut myself again <laughs> uh, 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 it, I, it has a four finger grip and if you don't choke up on uh, this uh, jimping, it still like has like a four finger grip for me. I have a medium to large hands and I still can get four fingers on it. Um, and then of course if you choke up on it, you can easily get four fingers on it. So even if you, if, even if it was a three finger knife, I think it would be fine because you could just shove the end into your fourth finger. Um, it feels nice in hand. It feels great. It feels this it, this jumping would be cool if it was usable, but it still feels great in hand with without the jumping. Uh, the usable. It's just this jumping's decorative. Um, it's it all oh, it's ex it the back spacer and the the pivot and even the clip see how the replicates jimping on the g10 plastic or the back spacer and then the clip that they just really complement the design um yeah, I and I really dig this uh, company logo inlay with the sapphire. Uh, I think it's sapphire loom loom lumen or something like that, which describes it. It glows blue when it's exposed to light, but um, it it really this really complements. They didn't have to do this to the knife. But I'm glad they did. I, I, I would like to see more manufacturers do inlays on the handles. I think Hogue does some when they do a SIG or or an HK design. Sometimes they do inlays for the SIG logo and stuff. I, I just like I just like the logos um, that are inlaid in the handle. So um, for the handle materials, I'm gonna. I'm going to rank it five out of five. Um, which brings me be, brings me to steel. The steel is uh, 154 cm, and it's extremely sharp from the factory. Extremely, it cuts through everything like a knife through butter. But again, the jimping is very usable on like uh, when you choke up on it and uh, the flipper tab is very usable there. And I like how the flipper tab just barely sticks out. It's, it, it, it doesn't, it, it won't uh, destroy anything in the pocket when you put it in the pocket because it's barely there. And it's, it's rounding off on, rounded off on the edge too so but it has like a DLC coating on the blade I'm I think but I think all the, the all the blade options come with uh, for the Tukuna come with the DLC coating um, it's 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 great you know I'm gonna rank the steel A one, two, three, four, five.
Um, so that brings me to ergonomics. The, it's, it's very good in the hand. It feels very solid. The, the contoured uh, um, G10 is very comfortable and uh, very comfortable to group uh, grip. Um, and like I said, the jimping is wonderful for uh, choking up on and like uh, the flipper tab is great. Um, all the edges like are slightly rounded over there. And if they aren't, they still, they're, they're not sharp at all. There's no clip um, jabbing you in the hand feel. And I just, I like, I very, I love, I love this uh, shape of the handle. It's, it's this shape right here. It's just, it's very nice on the, the fingers, you know, to, with the straight, slightly curved to straight back. And when I was cutting, I, I, I mostly used the knife like this a situation. I wasn't, I was just slicing open boxes and stuff like this. I always, I, I held the, uh, the knife a lot. Oh, my finger's bleeding again. <laughs> I held the, I held the knife a lot, um, with like this and it, it's, 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 very comfortable held, holding when you're slicing open boxes and mail or maybe cutting a rope you know I would just cut rope like that so I think it's um, ergonomics is five out of five for sure um, so that brings me to fidgetability it's it's a very smooth action right out of the factory it's it's great for oh see i failed it that's the i've very rarely failed it um it's it's great action try, try to not to cut myself oh see you can you can cut yourself but you if you have just a slightly longer nail it's better so you can put your nail there and stop the cut but uh the drop shutty action is right on out of the factory and i appreciate that so uh the access to the frame uh the liner lock is great um it's fun to flip open and i'm bloodying up my knife maybe i should pause and clean off the blood on my finger again so don't fuck with a flint or don't fuck with a finch <laughs> to Kuna. Um, I'm going to pause and clean my finger up. Okay, I'm back. Uh, what was I talking about? Fidgetability. I'm gonna probably rank it a four out of five on visibility. Um, by the sheer fact, um, if you're not careful, you can cut yourself. It's minorly. I'm I'm not an expert like flipping, so maybe some experts out there wouldn't cut themselves, but. I'm, I think it's, it's not bad, but I can't quite go to the five. So four out of five, um, which brings me to design. Um, overall, I'm, I'm very much in love with the design. I almost feel like I'm biased, but I, I shouldn't be a bias because I don't, don't have any stake in this company and I just heard about the company maybe three weeks ago and I bought a knife. So, um, but I'm just very much in love with this knife. It's, it's, it's got a unique shape and uh, a unique shape blade. And it's kind of like 
handle is very nice looking. I mean, it's a very, it's a very nice looking knife. It looks, I'm, I'm maybe I'm crazy, but this knife looks like a, a miniature machete. It's, it's so crazy. And I don't know if anybody said that before. It just reminds me of a machete. So, um, there's the, G 10 scales are very nice. Uh, the inlay is very nice. Um, I would like to see a different clip in the future. Like I said, uh, I would like to see like a s tape, a uh, spade or like a spoon type of ending on this. I think it was an absolute pleasure, Carrie. And in my opinion, it looks very nice and very unique. It looks like a, when you pull it out of your pocket and use it, maybe not like women, but I think it would generate a conversation piece. I can see um, your buddy saying, hey, what's that knife you're carrying? Let me get a look at that. <laughs> Um, I had my son over on, on the weekend. We were celebrating his birthday and I, I gave him a knife for his birthday. I gave him a CEO, uh, CRKT CEO. And, uh, but I, when I pulled this out, when we were out and he, 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 he loved the look of this knife. I'm going to rank it five out of five. And, uh, I'm definitely going to give it uh, the coolness factor of one. So my final score is 29 out of 30 plus one coolness factor point makes it 30 and I think an absolute purchase. I think it will run you, if you don't get a discount anywhere, it will run you $144 and technically it could be maybe it, it would be better at maybe a hundred and twenty dollars but i really think it's an absolute purchase for anyone at even at a hundred and forty four dollars oh i got my version comes with blood and blood embedded in the the scales anyway this is a great knife so i'm gonna do some knife comparisons or size comparisons and I have this it, how how the size compares to like a, a Spyderco uh, Tenacious and man it's hard to flip with a band-aid on your hand band-aid on your thumb uh, and here's a, a wee uh, uh, banter. And I love this wee banter too. And I brought out um, the, the James uh, Carter because it's I, I view it as like a same, like a boutique type knife. Finch seems like a boutique knife company. And I, I wanted to compare it to the James Carter. That the only, the only, um, well, until yesterday, until Friday, I got a, another boutique company. I, I would consider it the, all these companies are the same, similar. Uh, I got the Quiet Carry IQ, and uh, so I want to compare the size to those. So I want to say thanks uh, for uh, reviewing my videos. I I know they're long, and uh, I hope you stick with them because um, I I do my best and. Uh, the other, uh, you know, I, I have a trouble, I have a trouble speaking quickly because of the stroke. So I, I do apologize. I, I'm not like a Nick Shabazz that say he, he could do the same review and repeat everything in, 
10 times or everything three times and still get it in in 10 minutes he just talks fast and but hopefully you'll find my reviews okay i i i don't know if i want to drop the the ranking system but for me i it works i, I really like to rank knives um for points and if you I like to give advice to buy or buy if you're a fan or just pass the knife in, up in general. I, I'm going to cover this knife next week or, or I'm going to carry this knife next week. I, I really like how it looks and how it feels right now, but I, I can't review it. Thanks. And if you uh, feel like uh, subscribing, hit the bell notification when you subscribe and then um, like my video hopefully e even if you don't want to subscribe like my video maybe you know I I would appreciate it um, I would appreciate advice on my review technique so um, well thanks a lot and uh, if you are bored and you just want to look at pictures subscribe uh, subscribe to me on follow me on Instagram at last ranger 1965 and thanks bye bye